Today we're going to be talking about makeup decluttering and how to create a curated makeup collection of your dreams. I'm a makeup lover myself, so when I tried other methods of decluttering in the past, it didn't really work for me. So I came up with my own little system of how to declutter makeup. So if you're a makeup lover or even if you're not, this is going to be a very useful video. And yeah, let's get started. Like I said before, I tried other methods of decluttering, but the reason none of them worked for me is because I never looked at the big picture. That's why step one of my process is to ask yourself how many different looks do you want to create from your makeup collection? This is a very personal question to answer, but you know, the most common looks and the four that I chose are a no makeup makeup look, <laughs> four days off, then you have an everyday look, so this is something that you would wear to work or casual days or maybe hanging out with friends and something very casual and everyday then the third look would be what i say a fun look <laughs> this is this can be for a party for a date for a dinner i don't know something when you want to be a bit fancier and have a little bit more fun with your makeup and then the fourth look i would say is a special occasion look you can pick one look maybe two looks for example i picked all four because i really enjoy doing makeup so that's okay but my sister for example she only chose two looks and one is an everyday look and then a fun look so she's happy with that whatever you pick it must suit you and your lifestyle. Another thing that I want to mention is if you're not that makeup savvy or you're not enjoying makeup but you still keep some special occasion makeup items that you're never using then I suggest that you kind of make a deal with yourself that when the time comes and you need that you know fancy look you can go either to a makeup artist or you just go to a friend and they can help you out. So you can do that instead of holding on to makeup items that you're not really wearing every single day. Once you have your list of looks that you want to create from your collection, it can be only one, it doesn't matter. But once you have it, you can go through each look and you break it down into how many different makeup products do you want to use to create your specific look. Here I'm not talking about specific products that you have, just general items like foundation or mascara, something like that, not very specific. And yeah, I'm gonna just share <laughs> my list with you as an example so you see how this works. So for my no makeup makeup look, I use three different products, a tinted brow gel, a mascara, sometimes a normal one, sometimes a waterproof one, it depends where I'm going. And the last item on the list is a nude eyeliner for my inner rim. For my everyday look, I enjoy a CC cream, a finishing powder, a bronzer, a blush, an eye primer, a neutral matte eye palette, a nude eyeliner, neutral eye pencil, a mascara, tinted brow gel and lip pencil with a lipstick. So this is my everyday look. For my fun look, I go a bit further and I use more products. Also, I use a fun look for my YouTube videos, if you're wondering how that looks like. But I have my concealer, a liquid foundation, finishing powder, a bronzer, a blush, an eye primer, neutral eyeshadow palettes that range from matte and metallics, neutral or colorful eye pencils, nude eyeliner, mascara, tinted brow gel, lip pencil and a lipstick. So this is my fun look. And for my special occasion look, I go for a concealer, liquid foundation, finishing powder, bronzer, blush, eye primer, neutral eyeshadow palettes that go from deeper shades, mattes and metallics, waterproof black eyeliner or a pencil, waterproof mascara, nude eyeliner, tinted brow gel, lip pencil and a lipstick. So this is my list and all four <laughs> makeup looks that I want to create out of my makeup collection. This is again very personal to me. I enjoy doing makeup. I even did makeup on my wedding day. So yeah, they're just something I enjoy. But if you want to have less looks or, you know, really short list of items that you want to use for each look, you do you. We are all different. So yeah, don't worry. Just think about yourself and what you would love. Now, step three, is very straightforward and you just basically add all of your lists up so you get one long list of all the products that you want to keep in your makeup collection. Again, I'm gonna give you my list as an example. For all four different looks, I need to have a concealer, a CC cream, liquid foundation, finishing powder, a bronzer, a blush, eye primer, eyeshadow palettes, neutral colorful eye pencils, waterproof black eyeliner, mascara, waterproof mascara, tinted brow gel, lip pencil and a lipstick. So this is the list of items that I need to have in my makeup collection in order to create all four looks that I'm looking for. But now because we want to have a bit more versatility from our makeup collection because usually with skincare I just enjoy having one day cream, one night cream, one eye cream. I don't really want to have that versatility but with makeup obviously we want to have few different shades and textures and something so we have a little bit more fun with it. So the next step is that we go through the list and we add a little star or something we mark it for every single category where we want to have a few more options to choose from. But we're not stopping there, we're also going to add a number 
number of items that you want to choose from and I would also suggest that you kind of put also in the brackets what kind of color groups or textures you're going for. Again, I'm gonna give you my list as an example. The items where I want to have some versatilities are bronzer, so I want to have two. One is shimmer and one is matte. For blush, I would like to have three options. One is rosy, one is nude, one is peachy. Then for eyeshadow palettes, I want to have two to three, depends on the size, but I wanna have neutral mattes, I wanna have neutral metallics, and wanna have some deeper shades for my special occasion looks. Then for my neutral and colorful eye pencils, I wanna have five. I wanna have a black version, a brown, an olive green, a deep plum and some kind of a bright color. I also wanna have some choices with my lip pencils. I have three a nude, a deeper nude, and a coral. And with lipsticks, I want to have five different lipsticks, a light nude, a classic nude, a deeper or vampy nude, what I call it, a bright color, and some kind of a softer coral. So these are all the categories and all the different options that I wanna have in my makeup collection. And when you're thinking about how many options do you wanna have in each category, you know, my rule of thumb is I wanna have enough so I feel inspired and excited to choose from, but not so much that I feel overwhelmed and that I don't know what to choose. As you can see, the numbers on my list are pretty small because that's just what makes sense to me. But yeah, you know, you find your own way and something that works for you. So now that you've done all the legwork and you have everything ready, your list is ready, you can just take all of your makeup out, you can put it on one spot and you can start decluttering. So basically, with your list in hand, you go through different products and you just take your favorite products that you absolutely love, that work for your skin, work for your complexion, and you put it in your key pile. So by the end, you should have a curated makeup collection that corresponds with everything that you've written down. And everything that it's left behind, you can now declutter it because you already created a curated makeup collection that you can create all of your looks that you want from and everything else, you don't really need it anymore. But sometimes it can happen, you can have some duplicates, you really enjoy like three new lipsticks. So if that is your situation, you can also do some kind of a project pen. So you just pick one new lipstick, you know, to keep in your makeup collection and you put the other two into storage. So you're working on using this one up and once you finish it, you can go into storage and you bring the other one in. So this way you'll always have a curated makeup collection, but you're also gonna use up all of your products. Again, think about how long it's gonna take you to use something up and if it's really worth storing something for a really long amount of time or it's better to give it to a friend or something like that. Also, I want to talk about makeup brushes quickly because you can also declutter your makeup brushes as you're going through your makeup. Again, I would advise of having any duplicates. If you're not a makeup artist, you really don't need duplicates of makeup brushes. So that's something that I would declutter right away. And the second thing is you just want to have enough makeup brushes so you can create all of your looks from your list. So that should be kind of it for makeup brushes as well. Now the last thing that I want to mention is an expiration date. As you're going through your product, also think about expiration dates. Um, if you had opened something for a really, really long time and the consistency, the smell, the color, anything is off, then it's best to just brush it. If you're not sure if it's off or not, look at the back of the product. You will see a label with a little jar and the number on it. And that will tell you how long after you opened it, the product is still good. So if you're not sure, you can also check that because we don't want to have have expired or bad makeup in our makeup collection and an extra tip and something that I do you can also write down every time you open a new makeup product or a beauty product you can also write down date of opening a month and a year so yeah that can be helpful for future decluttering or even just using a makeup because you can really see how long it takes you to use something up. I really hope this inspires you to create your created makeup collection of your dreams. If you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below and give this a thumbs up and I will see you next time.